Today on the Drone Update, the DJI RoboMaster S1 is here. A drone with hands, creepy or cool? And rumors of a new drone from GoPro, it's all coming up next. Hey everybody, David Plummer here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you love drones and the way they are changing the world, you've come to the right place. Let's get into today's drone update. The big news of the week was from DJI, which is no surprise. What was a surprise was that their new product launch is not for a flying drone, but a remote educational robot named the RoboMaster S1. Well, even that wasn't much of a surprise. My business partner, Michael, was recently in China at DJI headquarters and got the chance to get an up-close look at a RoboMaster prototype. In fact, the RoboMaster competition has been popular in Japan for years. The practical applications for this device are endless. Right now, the RoboMaster S1 is being marketed as an educational robot for kids, but I know a lot of big kids that would like a supersized version of this. I think the possibilities are endless with this technology. I can't wait to get my hands on a RoboMaster S1. Next up, a team of inventors from a company named Ubionic have invented a drone that has hands. You heard me right, it's a drone with hands. In what turns out to be a super weird mission statement, the inventors say they want to quote, create a new world and propel the planet into the post-human age, unquote. What? This seems like real Skynet stuff here. I'm sure there are great uses for a drone that has hands, but this has really bad scary movie written all over it. Uh, what do you think? What, what would be the top uses for a drone with hands? In your mind, I can't wait to read your responses. All right, moving on. There are rumors circulating around the web that a new drone is about to hit the market. Are you excited? Oh, it's the GoPro Karma 2. Yeah, those are crickets because no one cares. If they come out with a new model, I'll be shocked. The GoPro Karma was such a huge disaster when it first came out. There was a massive recall. They came back out. Nobody was impressed with this drone. I can't imagine anyone spending money on the GoPro Karma 2. I hope you don't. I doubt these rumors are even true. What do you think? And finally, it is now illegal to drink and drone in Japan. And guess what? Whether you're in Japan or not, you really shouldn't be drinking and droning anyway. I know a lot of cities around the US have already uh, done the same thing. They put a ban on drinking and droning. This is a good idea. Just don't drink and drone. How's that? All right, guys, that's it for today's drone update. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit like and subscribe. We're coming out with new content every single week, keeping you up to date on the latest in the drone world. And if you're looking to take your business to the next level, make sure you give us a call. We specialize in working with businesses and municipalities and getting them set up with drone programs. We are a DJI Enterprise dealer, and we would love to help you out. We'll see you next time.